Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. Hello, everybody. Hello, Professor. So, today I would like to give you another great one, another conceptual uh, lesson. So, let's start with the uh, Do Now. A very easy one, to be precise. Let's see. So, uh, for our do now, we're gonna have a box. Professor, don't block what he writes. Then we're going to have a delivery box on a table. So, someone puts it across the table, they apply a force to the east. So, um, if the force is applied to the east, what mm -hmm. direction? Okay, I think um, I can do it. Yeah, uh, you too. Okay, you can get up and do it. So, gonna... Ah. Hmm. I think the acceleration is going out of the board. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll try to do it. Okay, let's see. Acceleration is this way. Really neat idea. Are you blocking again? The acceleration must also be this way. Because think about it. If what, what what do you mean? The force is, acceleration is always at the direction of the force? Yeah. The acceleration is always at the direction of the force. Like, for example, let's say I take this eraser and push oh. it. It uh, accelerates mm. the way I put it, which was north, I believe. So acceleration of the acceleration is always in the direction of the force. of the force. Alright, take it, note of that. In this case, is it north, south, east, or west? Um, I think it's east. east. Okay. Acceleration, and this is your last chance to write it for online viewers. Acceleration is always the same direction as force. Oh, uh, no, I'm just taking notes. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So, let's erase. Okay, Professor. Are ready for the lesson? Yeah. Okay. For the lesson, the lesson is going to be kind of long, and it's also going to be kind of complicated. Are you doing lessons? So, yeah. Please pay attention. This is going to be kind of complicated, so please pay attention. <coughs> okay, first let's start with the ideas half of the board. Okay. Okay. So, the ideas half of the board. Okay, um... Force can be less than this. And halt it as well. What is the halt means? Halt stop. means stop. Stop, okay. Force can be less than this. That's the... What is it? That's the basic idea of it. Main idea. Okay. Force can give rise to motion that uh, signifies positive acceleration because uh, then it, uh, it's speeding up and hold it as well. Negative acceleration. 
our races. Mm. Slowing down and completely stopping. Right. So that means force can give, uh, force can create acceleration. Yes. Awesome. That's wow. what I was waiting for you to point out. So Good force, job. Huh? Force creates acceleration. Force. So force can creates acceleration. Give rise. Uh, acceleration uh, is the main idea of this. Oh, that's the Newton's second law. Force, force creates acceleration. Yeah, oh. and we can express this in mathematical form. And F Newton did it. Equal F something. equals MA. Oh. F equals something. You do not remember this? This is one of the most vital equations. Oh, well, this for is the most famous equation. This is one of the most vital equations, if not the vitalist equation for classical physicists. Oh, I think this is the most famous equation of all time. Uh, other than E equal MC squared, you're right. Okay. Mm. Is there any way you can prove it? Oh, uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, there is. Maybe. There's a short way to prove it. Momentum we learned last time. Inertia and momentum were in yeah, the Newton's second part. Yeah, Newton's fast law. Yeah, Newton's fast law. The second part of fast law. The second so, part of fast law. So momentum is how much and uh, how much force an object will exert to keep moving. Because once objects are in motion, you know they're going to exert a lot of force to keep moving. Like if uh, you just, if you uh, like uh, see a bowling uh, ball and then you roll it, then it just uh, straight knocks down all those bowling pins. So it will exert a lot of force to keep it moving. Force. So it's like how badly an object wants to move? Yes. Uh, how, no, no. How badly an uh, object in motion like to stay in motion? That's like mm -hmm. Newton. This is the second part of Newton. Fast law. Yeah. You should note that, Albert. I think you, he teaches uh, this yesterday, right? Yeah. yeah. Is there like a formula? For, uh, yeah, 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 for there is. Item. Calm down. Exert. To stay in motion. Be patient. Okay, so there is an equation. It's P equals to mass times velocity. Oh, and people we can doing replicate that. Well, that's called momentum. Yeah. You're going to use momentum to prove Newton's second law? So, the using of... Can you write bigger? I don't see that. How many times I... Okay. It seems like you don't listen to a student. Mm. Delta P equals yeah. delta V. So, from a long theorem, you... No, from a short theorem, delta P is equal to J. So, oh, is J impulse? Yes. Oh, and yeah. impulse is FT from the physics side. So, Ft equals to m delta v. So, um, f equals to m delta v over t. Oh, so let's go v over t is a. Yes. Oh. m delta a. And that's how you prove this. Oh, God. Oh. It's a long way, but it's the successful proof. Wow. So you can use the momentum to, to prove the same love, right? Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> All right, only a few more equations in the math section. So everybody, let's obtain the units for that. Oh, sorry, if you don't block, we appreciate it. Uh, kilogram. Times meters per second square. Yes. Oh, this is kind of like dimensional analysis. Yeah. This is dimensional analysis. <laughs> it is. So, uh, this is going to come in handy. So, this uh, becomes this. And then cancel these out. So, A is equal to For M. So A equals to kilogram over times meter over. 
more seconds, Squeer. Divided by kilogram. So, kilogram times meter over and kilogram, kilogram cancels times out. Square. So, kilogram cancels out. Meters <laughs> per second squared. And that keeps mm. the cycle going. Oh, wow. That's all for the lesson. Wow. Take one last um, wow, that's moment beautiful. to look at No, this. I want to take a picture. Um, Can I take a picture, Professor? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think you uh, did the picture. Let's move on. Bye bye, work of art. Is this um, the exit clip or more of the lesson? Exit clip. We're finished with the lesson. And almost there. This is tedious, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah, this is really boring. Okay, so this was the exit slip. I remember correctly. Alright. So, there's a box on a table that's 10 kilograms. That is one heavy box. And then, you push it with a force of 70 newtons. Yeah, first I'll let me do it on here and then I'll show you. Using uh, our equations from the lesson, no, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. We have to do it. F is equal to M. So F is equal to M, yeah. We have to find acceleration, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what I am. 70 over 10. Yeah. 7 kilogram. Okay, Professor. Okay. Wow! Super patient Albert over here. Wrong! Okay, Isaac, um, uh, uh, Professor. Hmm. I changed my answer. And you're correct. Oh. He got the correct answer. I don't think so. It's because wrong. That? It is seven. That's it is seven not point seven. Half. Is that seven meters per second squared? Yes, seven meters per second squared. Okay. So, oh, seven. Meters. I looked at this wrong. Seven kilograms. Alex, what have you been doing? What is it? Is that kilogram? No. What is it? Meters, Again, meters per second, second square. square. Isn't it the same thing? I don't think so. Oh, uh, okay. Point seven meters per second square. Okay. Off by a bit. Remove the decimal point, and it's all fine. Okay. So. So what direction is it? Oh, um, to the <laughs> east because hmm, always the force goes the same way the acceleration does in the, the mm -hmm. latter, vice versa. Okay, thank you. And that's the end of the lesson. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.